JD Baby came through, I was like, oh, this just makes sense. This is just what we have all kind of been waiting for. But talk to me about the process. Like, what was it about this story? Um, little Kavya's like uh, situation, her her uh, uh, social media persona <laughs> that was like, this is gonna be the perfect book. Well, yeah, I mean, we wanted to try to, try to create um, a really fun, sweet uh, book that had a message um, where it positioned and centered shade as a superpower. Because mm. shade is basically a reaction to poor behavior, right? right. Um, you know, and for Cobb, we noticed very early, because uh, she's been very clear and very consistent, that <laughs> she, like, you know, when someone didn't you know, respect her boundaries or someone didn't, you know, wasn't listening or someone took something from her, that's mm -hmm. when you would see shade. And it was like, oh, she's just showing us the reaction. So if we take that a step further and we're like, okay, that's, that's the reaction to poor behavior, but then we show her how to lead and mm -hmm. how to lead with compassion and grace and kindness um, and humor at times, and then how to empower her friend group mm -hmm. to um, to also be leaders and to speak up, so she doesn't have to be you know strong all the time. So um, we wanted to create a book that it, that that captured all of that. It was so and Shady Baby is just the perfect title. Who came up with that as the as her kind of like alter ego situation? Was that something that just happened on social media? Was that y'all at home or what? Someone came over and caught, like, stuck their face in her face. <laughs> which like, I already know is a no-go. Yeah, like, she, they stuck her face in her face, which, you know, most babies, there's not really much of a reaction because their eyes haven't really, you know, they're not strong enough. And Cobb was like, you know, and we were like, and someone was like, oh, she's a shady baby. And it, that, so I just started hashtagging it for her post that, you know, kind of looked shady. It's so funny. It is a it is a hardcore. She does a hardcore side eye. Does she get that from you, Dwayne? Well, she got my face. Um, <laughs> all, her, <laughs> all, her attitude, <laughs> all her attitude comes from uh, this beautiful woman to my right. Um, and also just what's inside of her. Like she said, it's all about she got the looks over here, but this is all about other people. Right. It's just all about other people not respecting her space, not respecting you know, her wanting to, like, if I come downstairs and try to kiss her in the morning, she's having, she's watching her show and having breakfast, she look mm -hmm. at me the same way. She look at me like, bro, you see me watching? <laughs> Did you see, don't you see me busy? Bro, I'm telling you. <laughs> <Dinner. laughs> like there's no, she's very clear she's a very clear child like people come over and they're like oh this isn't like something y'all do for instagram this is who she is who she is. who she is and so why not encapsulate that why not um uh uh make that forever in a book you know what i mean it was a really it was a really really sweet um thing there was an image at the end of the book though that i thought i mean it, it made me gasp, like it kind of took my breath away. I just thought it was the sweetest, the sweetest thing. This image at the very end with the whole family together. Yeah. I mean, it's it's in a lot of ways, you have you, you, your family has empowered other families, in particular black families who are reaching points in their in their experience together where they're like, oh, things aren't working out quite like I thought they were, or oh, I never had anticipated this would be something that will be brought into our experience as a family. And I think you guys have done a really beautiful job of not getting it perfect, but making like a really concerted effort and sharing the wins, the losses and how you do it. Yeah, I, what we understand is we, we're not all the same, right? Mm -hmm. And I think especially coming from our community, uh, you know, it was pinned for me as an athlete, like you gotta do this, this, or this. And these are all you can do, right? And so they put us in a box very early. And, our goal is not only for our kids, but for other kids out there um, or for other families out there is to understand that it's just not one way. And so whether it's a picture of our family at the end of it that shows you, hey, listen, this is us. You know, we I'm surprised I ain't have pink hair in that, in that photo. Right. Like we do things, you know, the way that we feel it is us. And, and what, she, what Cobb shows the world and what she what she did when she came into this world, she showed us mm -hmm. that it's not one way to be. It's not yeah. one way to be here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, through through surrogacy, we we was able to get you know this beautiful child that everyone have have fallen in love with. And so for us, 
it was important not only to take the persona that, you know, that, that my wife has created for Cobb on her social media, uh, but to take what everybody was saying about Cobb. You know, people came up to us and like, yo, every night before I go to bed, like we're, we're looking for Cobb content. Yes, <laughs> straight up. Where like, is the Cobb content? Like, that, <laughs> like Cobb and go to sleep. Like it's like, <laughs> you sleep, you know? So, so we wanted to capture that. It's funny because you, 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 you talk about the path and not having anyone, literally not having any one way to get here. I mean, even where you two are in your relationship as partners, as husband and wife, wasn't necessarily the same way as any other couple you know, has done it. But I'm curious, who made the first move? Like, I, I have read that there was a party and that, that Miss Union was like, I'm about to have a good time. And Mr. Wade was like, I'm ready to go. Who made the first move? Do you remember that event? Do you remember that situation? Look at you. <laughs> All I got to say is, <laughs> you know, you start off that way. Mm -hmm. Right. Say, At the know, end of the day. <laughs> I'm the kind of person that, that feels that you should put things in, in the universe. You know, I feel that I say things over and over and over again. So. You know, if I told myself at that time that, you know, this, if I ever get an opportunity to be around this beautiful person, that I'm gonna take that opportunity. And so when I got it, I took the opportunity. Simple as that, just a conversation, nothing more. And how did it go? Yeah. We sitting right here. I mean, eventually. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wait, right how here. did it go? He Is had it? to a couple people, a couple duds. He had to wait for the, them to go, but. That's, I mean, I, I didn't expect you to just be sitting on the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. We say, we say, mama was playing the game. She was she had her head in the game. That's yeah. okay. I wasn't always, you know, the best player on the team. I had to work my way up. So it's all good. Yeah. I like I like that analogy. I like that. Bit of a little hard work, Scott. So it was a little hard work, but we got here. Listen, brother, the 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 it's when the hard work pays off. You know what I mean? Those that's the the ones that are that are the most worth it, I think. <laughs> um, you know, it's 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 interesting to me. As a, as a single person, you know, considering uh, wanting to be married, wanting to have a family, you know, desiring that thing, and to also consider that it doesn't always go the way that you plan. To know that both of you were in marriages before meeting each other, and really, what it, from, from what we can tell, from what I can tell, really seem like you're in the relationship that you were supposed to be in now, you know what I mean? Were either of you hesitant? Exactly. Were either of you hesitant though, going in like, I've done the marriage thing. I don't know that that's necessarily where our cards are. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, I am never getting married again. This is not the life for me. Wow. Um, and then, you know, you meet someone who changes that, you know, and even though I held it off as long as I could, <laughs> you meet someone to kind of change your, your perspective, you know, things. But I definitely got out of my first marriage like, all right, I've been married since I was 20 years old. I don't want to be married no more. Not, not now anyway, but you know, she came along and kind of eventually, you know, changed my, my mentality. And it wasn't even about marriage anymore. You know, it was really about me having, I felt like I found a partner, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, like I found somebody who was equal, you know, in the sense of like where I was trying to go and where I wanted to go in life. I felt like I found the, someone, she was ahead of me, way, way ahead of me at the time, but I felt like I found someone who, you know, I can look at as a partner and so, not someone I can look at as just, it wasn't just about marriage to me. It was what we're building together, um, yeah. how we support each other and how we're there for each other. And it was just different than a young marriage like I had the first time. I got married at 20, like I said. And at 20, so, you don't so know So we have an old marriage? <laughs> a little older. Oh, no, you have, a, you, have a, you have an established, you have a, 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 a secure, you have a, you have a mature. <laughs> None of those work, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, seasoned. Seasoned, yeah, yeah. Now, you have two people who who did not do well the first go round, uh, who had a great time in the in between time, mm -hmm. uh, and then eventually circled back at at a point where we've all grown, evolved, a lot more transparent, um, more open about where things had gone wrong in life. Yeah. So by the time we really re, re what, what's the word? Re emerged, I guess. Yeah. Emerged. It's a lot of reads you can go with. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were just in different, we were just in a different place and, yeah. and ready. 
You it's know. beautiful. It is really beautiful. I, I'm, I'm getting the rap, so I do want to ask this question quickly, um, because today is actually the day that Kobe Bryant is being inducted into um, the Hall of Fame. And I just, I, I have read, Dwayne, that you have said when he was gone, it was like, what do we shoot for? Like, what do we aim for? How, he's the legend, right? And I just wonder what you what you might say or what you might think about or what you're thinking about today as he's cemented in history like there is no other, you know what I mean, um, today in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I, I think you just said it, you know, this he's cemented. And I think it's something that if you watch basketball anywhere in the world, you knew that this day will come for Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. uh, what's sad about the day is that Kobe is not here to be able to give us that speech that we know was gonna be some legendary stuff, right? The stories Kobe was gonna tell, the way he, were, he was gonna tell those stories um, and to see him with his family smiling. I mean, this is the pinnacle of the sport that we've been playing since we were kids, right? The ultimate is at the end of the day, if you're great enough, you will end up in the hall of fame. I mean, that's right. mind boggling. And today uh, was step one of that. Uh, we, last night was step one of that. And so um, I'm just thankful that his family uh, gets to to be there to 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 create the universe of Kobe Bryant the way that they see it, you know, like they able to put their stamp on their family and their father the way that they see it, mm -hmm. and to see Vanessa and uh, Natalia to see them there to see them, you know, putting the jacket on to see them up there representing Kobe. I mean, that means everything. And if if, if Kobe was here, I mean, I know he's looking down right now on them and just proud. He's proud that his family is proud of what he was able to accomplish from a basketball standpoint but also understanding that they're proud of, 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 of him as a father and as a husband and everything that he, you know, he grew into right in, right in front of our eyes. At mm -hmm. 17 years old, he grew into whatever, whoever that we know him is now is one of the greatest people of our time. Mm -hmm. And so it's a, it's a bittersweet day, but nevertheless, it's a sweet day, you know, for the basketball and for the world. And, and then lastly, I, I couldn't agree more with you, brother. You said it beautifully. Um, lastly, uh, uh, Gabrielle, I saw you post in support of Meghan Markle shortly after the Oprah interview. And I found this photo of the three of y'all at an event. And I just, I'm just curious about how you got to know each other. <laughs> you see it? Yeah. 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 That's at a Prada event. Yeah. No, Come I on, mean Prada. <laughs> Prada, was, Prada was there for Megan in the beginning. Uh, yeah, no, uh, we have mutual friends. That's kind of what it boiled down to. And yeah. uh, she was at the event. Um, was she? That was New York. Yeah, New York. Mm -hmm. And we were all just chopping it up, you know, Kiki mm -hmm. in the corner. And they were like, oh, let's get this picture. But what- I what, fanned out. I was like, yo, so you own suits and I need to know everything about Mike and I need to know everything about- He's obsessed with suits. <laughs> <laughs> so I fanned out. The scene said that part. I was like, so Megan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I've got some questions, some, some plot lines. <laughs> Yeah. But no, she's cool. She was, she's, she is, uh, she's, just, she's a cool lady and mm -hmm. um, definitely understand what, you know, Harry was attracted to and, and why they're married and, and um, what, what blew me away and what continues to blow me away is their transparency. Yes. You know, in our household, we lean into true transparency, and accountability, and mm -hmm. to watch her lead, well, them lead in such a global, a globally profound way. I don't know how else to say it. Yeah. Um, it really took my breath away. And uh, she helped a lot of people. They helped a lot of people um, that day and they continue to. And I'm just, I'm proud. I'm proud to have ever shared space with her. And uh, I look forward to, to hanging out with them, you know, now that they're in the United States. Mm -hmm.